We're going to begin with a very simple page. There are several ways to create new pages in Dreamweaver. We're going to create our first lab and we could choose new HTML. We could go into here, into the labs, right click and choose new file or we can choose file new which is typically the way that I prefer to begin. And this gives us some default CSS layouts. And I'm going to choose a one column fixed centered layout. I want to make sure that you select HTML5 and for your layout CSS, we're going to add it to the head of the page. We could do an external CSS file, but we're gonna, not going to start there for our first lab. I'm going to hit create and it will put me in this blank page. If I go to the code view, you can actually see all of the code right in here. And typically what I will do is I will go through and I like to read the code and work in here. They've actually put in some pretty good defaults. This is one of my preferred setups for the default font list. And I'm going to work in code a little bit this time. I'm actually going to put it in split view. And I'm going to take this to full screen. And I really like split view because it lets you see what I'm doing. So here where I have the title, untitled document, I'm going to call it Lab 1, Meet Mary. Because for Lab 1, you're really going to just introduce yourself. Now a lot of this stuff I don't need in this page, but it's not hurting anything, so I'm going to leave it here for right now. One of the things I do want you to notice is that we have created a container which sets the width of our page to 960 pixels. It's setting our background color to white and our margin to zero, which is top and bottom, and auto, which is making it centered on the screen. If I didn't like the co color here, I could pick it here. And for the container color, I do actually do typically like it white, but I'm going to just go slightly off white to show you that you can. And if we wanted to change the background color of the body, that's where we do it here. So let's look at it live for a second. That'll show you what it really looks like. And then you can't, it'll select things. You can change it in the code view. While it's in live view, you can't change it over here. So our background is currently a dark gray. I'm going to change it just to show you how. So here, now I am in live view, but I should be able to change my code while I'm in live view. So I'm going to go into the background color in the body tag. I'm going to choose color and I'm going to choose a really dark purple. And I'm going to put in my semicolon to close it. And when I click over here, it's changed. Excellent. Now this has already got code in here. I've got a div with container and a div with content. And so you'll see that they're each defined up here where we have the container de defined and we ha should have see body. No, we didn't really define anything special. So the con content is held with inside the container. Don't really need it. All I want to leave is that div class container. So I'm just going to delete all that. Okay, so here I have my site with absolutely no content. So I'm going to again go back into here. I'm in the body section. I'm in the div class container and I could put things here. So I can start by typing in H1 because good web design for search engine optimization, you typically have an H1 tag. And I'm just going to say about Mary. And this sort of replicates what you would typically get inside of a about page and it's my chance to introduce myself. Well, let's see if I'm going to introduce myself to you. Maybe I should have a picture. Now I could either put my picture in my images folder in here or I can actually add another images folder inside of my labs. You could do it either way. I'll just show you how to do this. If I wanted to add a new folder here, I can right click and choose new folder and I'm going to call it images. And I'm going to use all the images in any of my labs that's going to go in here. Now it's not that hard and I've got a shortcut here to my, 
I'm obviously doing a lot of different stuff today. All right, so I've got a shortcut here to my files, and I'm going to go into my images, pictures, and let's see if I can find a picture that I want to put in of me. I have several. These are edited for the web. Oh, they're all my dogs. Well, I want to put in a picture of my dog, so let's see. We have Nessie here, so I'm going to add her to the images, and you'll see that she appears in here. And if I wanted to, I could find another image of myself. We'll just drop this one in, and then I'll show you how to get into editing it, because you should edit things before you use them. Because those aren't going to come in the right size, but you can see it's very easy to put them in here. And Dreamweaver knows that you're going to probably want to edit these. And it will allow you to edit. Well, it's going to let me rename it. Let's see. Should actually just be able to double click on it. I don't know what I have registered as my photo software for this. You can go into your settings and set it up to be something like Photoshop, which I will do later. So right now it's going to try and find that editor. I'm not sure if it's going to work because I didn't set that up. So we'll just drag in this photo as is. I'm going to take this into design mode and I'm going to turn it off of live because nothing's going to work while it's in there as live. So I'm going to hit enter Actually, I want to click on About Mary. I'm going to double click on that. Actually, that should open it for editing, so I'm just going to drag it right there. Okay. You should put up alternate texts, Richard and Mary Winchester. just opened up it takes a minute I don't know if I opened up and so you want alternate text Richard and Mary Winchester that's good enough I'm gonna hit OK and that's way 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 too big so what am I editing in I really want to grab just a piece of this I'm using GIMP. I really want to use Photoshop. I'm going to discard changes and I believe that opened it. Yeah, that opened it in GIMP, which I'm really not familiar with. I want to register that to Photoshop. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to show you what not to do. I'm going to do something that you really shouldn't. I'm going to change this and it's locking my picture size. I'm going to change it to 125. And it should have constrained that, and that's better. So, not perfect, but better. Now for the heading one, again, I could go in and add CSS for this, which I'm going to do. I'm going to edit rule, and I'm going to now this is editing everything here. That's not what I want to do. I want to select a new CSS rule, edit rule, and it's anything here where it's got the dot in the container, it's H1's only in the container. In my page it's essentially going to be the same thing as H1, but it's okay. And so then it's going to allow me to go into the box, nope, block, and text align center, and I'm going to hit apply and that does everything up here because this is on my h1 tag so I need to take a quick 
look at this. Now this is where it comes in handy knowing the code because here I can split the code, I can select the image, and I don't want the image to be part of the H1 tag and this is why knowing that is really critical. So I want the image in the same line but I don't want them together. So we're going to go back to design. And this actually ends up being in a lower spot. I could fix this. I'm not going to worry about it right now. This is not going to be the prettiest page I'm ever going to have. I'm really not happy with the way this looks, but I can do various things to fix it. I can get really carried away, which I'm not going to do right now because I'd really like to get into CSS, put this in as a heading and do a bunch of stuff with this, but it's really more advanced than I want you to get. So in your first lab, what I want you to do is just play. I'd like to see you try and insert a picture or two. And here on, in this page, I'm not going to care if they're properly formatted. And this is Nessie. She's a Bouvier. Day Flanders. And I'm going to hit OK. And the alt tag is red by browser sort of lined. And that's really not actually a bad size. Ah, and here's where I could have edited in Photoshop. That's what I wanted to grab earlier. So I could go in and properly edit that. But this size is actually this is actually the size that I want it to be. I could add a link to it here. And it has all sorts of different options for me for the photo. And then I can add a bunch of text here. Let me tell you about Essie. It's my youngest movie, eh? And I also own her father, Eli. Now, I expect you to type a lot more than that, and I will finish this later where you guys aren't watching me code. So I just want you to play around. I'm not going to grade on formatting on this, but I'd like you to get a couple of pictures in there. I'd like you to change the background color of the container. I would like you to have a few paragraphs about yourself and I will put up the finished product of when I'm done. And we're not really going to worry about formatting because I haven't taught you enough in Dreamweaver to make this align with the picture or anything like that. But I just want you to create that first lab where you tell about yourself. And it's a good idea to have in your labs folder an images folder. So now I need to save this because currently it's untitled so I'm going to have to choose file, save as, and it's actually not a bad idea to do that the first thing that you do. And so this is going to be inside of labs and I'm going to name it 01lab.html because that's what I said I would name it when I was doing the index page. So I'm going to hit save here and I'm actually going to want to go back to my index.html and I'm going to check to make sure that's actually linked right. And the better way to do that, if it's simple like this and I'm going to have to go to my HTML, I'm just going to, I'm visually checking, but it's not a bad idea to just go through and link to that to make sure it's really right. So your first page, and this is really your first page where you introduce yourself. should have several paragraphs and h1 tag modify the background colors. So really simple and then I'm going to save this and easily I can go through here and choose file save all. Now this is my index page so if I upload this and it's going to ask, should dependent files be included in the transfer? I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And there aren't any because they don't have any images. Now if I flip over to this one and I put that up and choose yes, that will also upload my images. So that's what it means by dependent files. And then I can go test this online. 
And so let's go out. You can see I've been busily recording and working today in YouTube and other things. So this is, let's refresh that and hit lab one and that works. Now this is obviously not a finished or well-designed page. It's just showing you that you can easily put content into Dreamweaver, upload it, Dreamweaver handles anything. We're going to get way further into formatting and making things look good, but before we get to that, I'm going to do a quick review of hand coding with you in the next few labs.